everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing amazing and we'll be looking at what is going on across the atlantic so there is a frontal system which extends into the caribbean and uh, it is likely to result in some additional rainfall activity across some areas as we head through today it's not a strong cold front but it is enough to uh, make itself known to some degree and after which we'll be going into the uh, latest regarding the models which continue to show some development as we're going to be heading into this weekend and early next week so let's get straight to it here we're looking at the caribbean at the infrared satellite and there are some cloud clusters here and there we see that for jamaica and uh, parts of hispaniola as well especially over into haiti that frontal system is making its way through here it is on this surface chart so this symbol that blue line with those triangles is representative of a cold front so it's moving through the northwest caribbean and is likely to result in some additional showers across some areas today all right moving on to the rainfall forecast now and here we can see that the map gets a little bit colorful and when it gets uh very colorful with those orange red and purple shadings that is indicating a lot more rainfall activity so for today not a whole lot of rain through the entire caribbean but there may be some downpours across parts of the southern bahamas sections of eastern cuba uh, even over into parts of Central America as well for Belize and maybe even Mexico, especially near the Caribbean coast. There may be a passing shower or so, nothing much, nothing crazy. Same story for the Cayman Islands. And then as we head towards Jamaica, uh, especially for some Southeast parishes, there may be some shower activity as we head through today. Also over into Haiti as well. And then uh, looking down into uh, the southern part of Central America, Costa Rica, Panama, it gets a little bit more colorful there. So heavy rain is going to be possible possible across some areas and uh, as we head further toward the east going towards uh, Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands and parts of the Lesser Antilles we've got that cloud coverage uh, some cloud coverage within those areas and there may be some decent rainfall across some areas as we head through today similar story down to Trinidad and Tobago it may not be any substantial rainfall but uh, there may be a passing shower or so ABC Islands likely to be on the drier side but uh, going down to northern South America for parts of Colombia, southern Venezuela, into the Guyanas, some shower activity is most certainly possible as we're going to be heading through today. Now, as I said, that front is not a very strong one. And uh, looking at the temperature anomaly map, it's going to be cool. Uh, it's going to remain cool for the most part in parts of Central America. There is some of that residual cool air from the previous cold front and then this one is kind of reinforcing it a bit but not significantly so for parts of the northwestern caribbean and also the bahamas turks and caicos islands even for florida temperatures are likely to be below normal as we're going to be heading into the rest of today and even into tomorrow as well as it relates to the wind forecast winds aren't going to be too crazy across the caribbean maybe up to 15 20 knots at the most for areas such as uh, the southeastern Caribbean islands, so that would include Trinidad and Tobago, going to Grenada, the Grenadines, even towards the ABC islands and uh, offshore Colombia, especially offshore Colombia. Even seeing some of that blue shading right there and toward the islands of San Andres, Providencia, as well as the coast of Nicaragua. We're also seeing some of those more uh, vibrant shadings of purple in parts of the northwestern Caribbean. So for the Cayman Islands, and again, that frontal system is making its way out. So up to the southern Bahamas as well, some of those winds could be up to 15 knots or so. But elsewhere, we'll be a little bit more on the tranquil side. So maybe anywhere from around 5 going up to 10 knots at maximum in terms of those wind speeds as we head through today. Now we're going on to what the models have to show in terms of seeing any development over the course of the next couple of days. So we're going to be kickstarting things looking at the Euro model. And this is as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, the 26th of February, and there we see all of that moisture within the area, which is represented by those green shadings. So that's for the average precipitation rate. Now, as we're going to be heading into later this week towards Wednesday, we can see that uh, moisture, that all that precipitation becoming a bit concentrated in one area. And uh, at times, Euro was showing that we may see some sort of subtropical development out of this, but now it is not showing anything too defined. But uh, that's not the end of the story here, because as we're going to be heading into this weekend and going into next week, 
This is for Sunday of next week, the 3rd of March. There we see another area of the surge in moisture and uh, the sea surface temperatures there could certainly support subtropical development. And there we see that airflow pressure form as we head into Monday and intensifies a bit later in the week. But eventually it would lose any tropical characteristics associated with it as it accelerates further up to the north. Is GFS in agreement with this? Well, as we head into later this week, there we see that first area which I've been talking about since last week, uh, that increase in moisture right there, not seeing anything too defined with it. And then as we're going to be heading into this weekend and early next week, your uh, GFS rather is also picking up on that next potential system as well. So it's definitely unusual to see the models expecting development at this time of year. And the last time there was a March tropical cyclone was actually the only time ever recorded, and that was in the year 1908. And I may do a video talking about this on my second channel, Weather Extras. You can go ahead and subscribe uh, to that channel. The link to it is posted in the uh, pinned comment down below. So yes, we could definitely see something, and with the above average temperatures as I've been talking about, it wouldn't be too surprising to see, but it's definitely not the time of year uh, that we would typically be looking at the Atlantic for development. So uh, of course I'll keep you posted as usual guys, but that is what I wanted to share with you in this update. I hope you found it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can and remember to always be weatherwise.